Welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I am creating some holiday tags using the Tim Holtz Sidekick from Sizzix. This is a really, really fun die cutting machine. The size is amazing. You can put it right on your desktop. And right now I have it in the box and I will open this up and show you what's included. The machine itself has a rubber bottom and that will suction onto a nice smooth surface. I work on a glass cutting mat here and so I'll just place this right down and then I can turn the handle and that sections right onto that surface. And then you're ready for die cutting and embossing. You get two cutting plates with the sidekick and those are about two and a half inches by five inches long and also an embossing plate so you can use it with an embossing folder. The dies included are a tag and the numbers one through zero and also a hole enforcer. You also get a small set of stamps and an embossing folder in the shape of a label that fits right onto the tag. I've trimmed my cardstocks down so that they will be just a little bit larger than the tag and smaller than the plates. And I've used a little bit of post-it tape and I'll put that right into the side kit and then push it in a little bit and then you can see which way the handle needs to rotate. I'll hold the top of the sidekick and turn that handle towards me until that's done die cutting. I really like the size of this to be able to have it on my desktop because most of the dies that I use are a smaller size so I don't have to get up and use my big shot that's behind me. So here is the die cut. It cuts out perfectly just like you would expect from all the Sizzix die cutting machines. I'll be using the Tim Holtz Tattered Christmas set of stamps and these are a great size to add to my tag fronts. I'll be using my Tim Holtz stamp platform to help me stamp these out and I've just put these onto a scrap piece of paper, put them into the platform with enough room to where I'll be able to die cut around each piece and then I can ink those up with a nice black ink and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black and then I'll shut the door and give that a really good amount of pressure. I'm using the Tattered Christmas Framelits and these match the stamps really perfectly so I can die cut out each of my images. I have placed the snowman one down and now I'm going to cut around the die and my paper a little bit just to make that so that'll fit right into those plates. And now I can run this through the sidekick and die cut my snowman. And a quick note, I used a post-it piece of paper uh, or washi tape every time I do a die cut just to make sure that it holds everything in place. I don't want it to slip around. This die fits really close to the image and I'll lift this up so you can see how closely it is. So it's really perfect to die cut all your little tiny pieces out. I also want to stamp an image onto the tags that I've die cut so that I have the extra pieces that you can see in the image. So it has a snow bank under the snowman and also there's shoulders on the Santa Claus. So this is really nice to stamp onto your tag and also stamp and die cut your images out. For elegant looking tags, I have silver embossed the swirly snowflakes and I've used the matching dies. This die set is for both the regular swirly snowflakes and the minis all together so you get all the sizes for the two stamp sets. When you stamp and emboss this it's really gorgeous but once you cut this out with those dies you can see how closely that fits to that snowflake and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I have silver embossed that onto fog cardstock and then put that onto a white circle. I've also done a couple of the tags using some of the larger swirly snowflakes and then I've used the 25 that comes with the sidekick and also some red paper to put underneath. I'll stack those together along with a snowflake and also a little extra snowflake that I'll stack on top. So now I have some cute tags and some more elegant tags and I can start coloring in on my images. I'll be using the Danielle Smith Debbie Hughes palette of watercolors and this is the Simon Says Stamp color palette and I'm just doing some really quick watercolor. Uh, it helps because I'm a little bit gimpy right now with my hand and the watercolors are really easy to do. So I'm just dabbing on a wet brush onto that paper palette and I can pick up some paint and color in onto my tree. I've done some assembly on my tags and I've completed my tree using those colors and also some message strips that are also from Tim Holtz Christmas. 
The Santa is really adorable. I did use some Copic markers. You could also use your watercolors. And you can see where the shoulders are finished off by stamping onto that tag. And the snowman, I just colored his hat just a little bit and twig arms along with a carrot nose. The snowflake tags turned out really gorgeous with that silver embossing, also with a message. And then I backed that with a fog circle and put a little string at the top. I have doubled up on one of these snowflakes and added a message on top and then doubled up the tag using two tags so you can write a message inside. And then finally a nice really fun one using the snowflake and some chit chat stickers and also that 25 with that red tag underneath. And then a nice elegant one where I've cut a circle out and used that 25 and ran some glitter paper underneath and put that all onto a gold foiled tag. I hope I've given you some inspiration using the Tim Holtz Sidekick along with Tim Holtz Stamps and Dies to create some really fun tags this holiday season. And as always, thanks so much for watching.